So I just want you to get on your knees, pray to Jesus. Pray to Jesus for, your, for salvation. Just let it spray all over your face. Just let it go everywhere. All you have to do is just surrender. You tell Jesus. He's in your heart. Bless your heart. Jesus is Lord, everybody. Why am I talking like a gay southern pastor? I don't know. I felt like you go fuck yourself. In today's video, I want to talk about... <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, you know, this 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 weekend, uh, this last weekend on Saturday night, as you know, my buddy Adrian does the ayahuasca ayahuasca ceremonies, and we had a considerable amount of people over to the house for the ceremony. The next day, on that being yesterday, Sunday, um, I was talking with this girl who did it. Her name's Nicola. I'll say her name. She's actually very very nice, uh, very very nice lady. We had we actually talked like for the whole day just she and I and we we got into a discussion about schools here in Cambodia and she she had mentioned to me that uh, some monks had mentioned to me that she had never taught English here we were just kind of talking about uh, the school system guys I'm sorry if the, it's it's too windy here uh, if there's a lot of wind like every time I come to the fucking stadium like no matter where I go, like I could go inside of a cardboard box and it'd still be windy as fuck. I, I like I like I can't escape it. I digress. I digress. Okay. The schools here, most of the schools here are not legit schools. Now I have made several videos where I talk about this, but I'm just gonna go a little more in detail by what I mean. The way the way I would describe the school system here is very similar to the school system in America. I think that, that what Cambodia, and not just even Cambodia, like I'm sure Vietnam is the same. I, I've met teachers from Vietnam, or, or people that teach in Vietnam rather, people that have taught in Thailand, even China, or maybe maybe a place like uh, Korea or whatever, and they, they, they all model the curriculum. They all model the method of teaching the same way that Western society does. Like It's like that generic factory farming style type of education where they just they pump them in they they basically they basically herd them in just like fucking cattle they 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 open their mouths nice and wide and then you take a tube of this poison and you fucking squirt it right down their fucking throat and then send them on their way and then now they're educated they're fucking educated. They're not. They're not educated in, in, in like an imaginative sense or a creative or philosophical sense. They're educated so they can be good producers, good workers, so they can be good at making shit or making money for other people. So that is the issue I have with the school system here. Uh, being creative, from what I saw, I'm not saying this is the case 100% of the time, but the schools I've taught at. And the people that I've talked to, generally speaking, schools here, they don't encourage creativity. They don't encourage imagination. They just want you to say your fucking ABCs. The parents got to pay the money. And, uh, you know, it, there's just something about it that's not right. I feel like these kids, like we're doing the, the, these kids a disservice. Or I, I shouldn't say we because I'm not even a teacher anymore, but... The kids are being done a disservice by not being given a chance to explore their imagination. Now, maybe they do at their house, maybe at school they just work on their education, but I really do feel like it's a factory farming, like mass production type of education system here. That's one of the reasons too why schools want to hire white teachers. Now, are white people better teachers by nature? Obviously not. I mean. And, and if you think that they are, you're fucking stupid. Um, but, but white skin sells here in Cambodia. There could be a school of 100 teachers. 99 of these teachers are not white. They're Filipina, Asian, or you know, Khmer, or in, fucking Indian, or whatever, black, or whatever. Just not white. And then there's one fucking white teacher. That one white teacher will probably make the most money of all the other teachers mo most likely and they will be the face of the school so like if you see like a poster of the school where it has like i don't know like a schedule or whatever bullshit it's gonna have some fucking white guy 
Hey everybody, how you doing? Yeah, I'm white. Yes. <laughs> you're gonna have you're gonna have that fucking guy. Old you're gonna have old fucking Billy. Billy Bob, uh, whatever his fucking name is. Yeah. And because because the Kamai parents, a lot of them believe, oh, well, this teacher's white, they're smarter, they have better education, they're gonna make my child smarter. No. If your child is fucking stupid, then your child's fucking stupid. It doesn't matter who's teaching them, you know what I mean? So anyways, guys, I know I'm kind of bitching again, but, like, I just want to just, just tell you guys, because I know a lot of you watching this shit I want to move here and teach English. Look, don't put so much pressure on yourself, okay? Sorry. Don't don't put don't put so much pressure on yourself, okay? When I when I first started teaching, I was like, my fucking heart was racing. I'm like, oh my god, I have to do the curriculum this exact way. If I don't do it, they're gonna fire me, or like 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 they're gonna know if I'm fucking up, guys. For the for the like. I probably taught English for like a total of maybe four months total, like two months and then I quit and then I got another job for like two months and I got fired. But anyways, I literally, I literally, I literally, I literally never made a lesson plan ever. I just shot from the hip. I had this guy email me. He asked me if I ever shoot from the hip when I taught English. Yes, every fucking day I just winged it. I never made a lesson plan. The school didn't care. The, the only thing I had to do was like take attendance and I had to give a test, which I could just make myself. It, guys, guys, teaching English in Cambodia is so, it's, it's just retardedly easy to do. It's retardedly easy to do. And it goes to show that it's not about education, it's about making money. These schools are fucking businesses, as I've said. They're not legitimate educational institutions. That's why so many Cambodians are uneducated. Now, when I say Cambodians, I'm not talking about a motherfucker from Detroit or a motherfucker from Long Beach, California. All right, you're not fucking Cambodian. If you've never been to Cambodia, you don't even you barely even speak Khmer. You're not a Cambodian in my mind, and you're not a Cambodian to have real Cambodians. Believe that, dude. They 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 don't accept you as their own. I'm just telling you that from personal experience. Now, when I say Cambodian, I mean somebody from Cambodia that speaks Khmer that is from here. They're totally different, dude. So let's be clear. Anyways, I digress. All right. Like I said, they heard a man, they pumped the... They pumped this fucking poisonous paste down their throats to digest. And then they pump them back out, man. Back into society. Now they're educated. I digress, everybody. Sorry for the, uh, the rant, but... Just don't put so much pressure on yourself when you come out here to teach. The school system does not give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you, dude. I don't care what you look like. If, if, if you want to work there or not, they don't give a fuck about you, dude. They don't care about the kids. They want to make money. Take it from somebody who's been there and done that. And there's plenty of other pe people here, other expats here, who will wholeheartedly agree with what I'm saying. Anyways, guys, my email, in case you don't already know, is no joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches! That's no joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches. That was a, that that was a weird one, wasn't it? That almost sounded like I was like 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 I hit the rewind button and I went bitches, dude. I'm I'm fucking crazy. I don't know what the hell my deal is, guys. Go fuck yourself. Peace.